right, guys, I'll just uh, tie up some stuff that, uh, that I'm using right now that's working good. Uh, there's a lot of things starting to happen up there in Island Park. Uh, the Madison's fishing really good right now. They're eating midges. Uh, they're eating them on the top real good. There's, I expect to see uh, blue wing olives any day. Uh, they're starting. I notice that there's starting to be a few on the Buffalo River. So the Buffalo kind of, kind of is uh, where everything seems to start up there where I'm at. And uh, so I kind of keep an eye on that. You'll see brown drakes on the Buffalo before you see them anywhere else. So Buffalo River, for whatever reason, I think it's because it. Its source, the head of the Buffalo River, uh, I think it's a water temperature thing. So bugs tend to get going on that buffalo before they get going anywhere else. I don't like to spend a lot of time at the vise. I like tying flies that are simple and effective. So uh, one thing that I do like to do is, is I think a lot of the flies that you get uh, in the fly shops, except for the fly shop I work at, but the rest of them. <laughs> Tend to be, uh, they tend to be a little bit overdressed, I think. And so I like to tie things, uh, you know, and try to keep them as, as uh, slender and, and streamlined as possible, but durable too. So I like to tie stuff that I know is going to catch more than one fish and, and uh, keeping, them, keeping that profile of the fly super, super slender. So I think one of the bigger hatches that, that you can kind of look forward to coming up coming right up here within the next uh, probably three weeks will be those Mother's Day caddis will get started. Um, I guess too this year uh, things might be a little bit different up there just because we're we're still looking at 97% uh, of snowpack average snowpack. Last year at this time it was all gone. So some of the hatches, you know, like, like last year, I think the drakes started in the ranch right on the opener. I think they kind of, they might have even been a little bit earlier, but, uh, so keep that in mind. Um, things might get, be a little bit slower this year just because of runoff and, and like I said, everything is kind of weather or water temperature dependent. You know, bugs aren't going to hatch, you know, specific ones until that water temperature hits whatever degrees it, it, it is. So we'll start off right now what I'd use on the Madison. Madison's really been fishing good with midges. Haven't seen anything else. Uh, seen one or two caddis probably flying around in the last uh, little bit, but it's mainly a midge game up there right now. Uh, as you probably know, they open the Madison up again to year-round fishing. So you can fish uh, anywhere you want on the Madison. Which, and it's been really good and there hasn't hardly been any people up there so if you got a weekend and you want to make the drive come on up because uh, you're going to find some really good fishing this time of year and nobody's really around to, it's not like uh, July 15. Salmon flies I think this year might be a little bit later too um, I've been fishing on the Teton quite a bit it start, it's just now starting to get a little bit colored up uh, but fishing good streamers I've noticed that there's a few fish just now starting to uh, get on on uh, spawning reds up there uh, but then with the cloudy water too it's just something to keep in mind in case you're because you can wait it most of it right now so what we're gonna do here guys this will work for a midge and I think it'll also work uh, really well for uh, the Mother's Day caddis when they uh, are coming you're gonna use a copper wire uh, extra small copper wire that my threads already starting to come apart for a rib, um, I don't worry about a tail with these guys. This is gonna break on me. No, not worried. Super simple pattern here, and I take it right down to the to the bend of the hook right there. I work it back up. I'll try to cover up all that stuff. That's, but don't just don't overdo it on this. Um, you want these. Because when those little caddis, those little Mother's Day caddis come out of those shucks to swim up through the water column, they're little bugs, you know. You could probably get away with tying this in, uh, in a 14 as well, but I think 16s and 18s for both midges. I think this, they take this for a midge and a, uh, as well as these uh, caddis pupa. So pretty simple, you're just going to rib, rib your uh, right back up. This is, I know you all know or are familiar with a zebra midge pretty much the same thing right here except for the zebra midge that that's it you're done tying with if you were doing a zebra midge that's pretty much the end of it right there I'm using brown I like brown and olive and black and then I'll do do these in red too especially for the I like red 
He's working. Uh, if you just fish that, just like it is right there, you can catch fish with that. And in, in the lakes around us, you can catch it. You can catch fish in, in the rivers. I think it just looks so much like a midge that I like this uh, UV uh, dub that you can get. And I'll just take a little bit here. I think this works really well. I think this is what makes this fly stand out a little bit here. You just twist it on there. You really want to get the the first part of it here. You really want to get that twisted on there good. If you, as you come back down, as you can see right there, I'm not so concerned about that. I kind of want this to be, I want the head of this fly to be flaring in the water. I don't want it to be real tight, but to get that to happen for you, you definitely want to get get your material started really good. It has a pretty cool effect in the water. Probably did. Got way too much going on there. All right, cool. So you can see here, guys, that I want to leave this stuff here. I want to leave a whole bunch of that so that when it's in the water, that this it pulsates around and it flares around like that because I think especially for a caddis as they're coming up through the water you know I mean you, some of you guys might have read Gary LaFontaine's theory on on caddis but that that shuck right here this material right here pulsating through the water it looks like it looks like a, a caddis uh, coming up as a this is uh, actually on claws yep uh, olive yep and you could do that you could probably for the caddis, I would stick with olive, but you can get this in black, and I think that's cool for midges or pheasant tails. There's a, the sky's the limit when it comes to. Blue wing super, like a micro. Midge. Yeah. I'd use this for a blue wing too. When those blue wings start coming, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll use this, absolutely. And that's all there is to this. There's nothing to it, and that's what I like about these flies. It's how I like to tie flies. If I've been uh, like if I've been guiding all day or something, and let's say we're out of a certain pattern in the fly shop, I don't want to be up all night tying flies. I want to make them simple and I want to make them quick and effective. And this is a good one to do that with. You can sit down and 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 have a beer or two and, and whip out two dozen of these in no time. Flies.